I didn't go. I stayed. I had one week off in Chicago with you. <laughs> got on the aisle, something rotten at that out and John. Like we oh, got yeah, it. I know what. That, this is a story you're definitely gonna have to say. Yeah, you you say it from your from point my of perspective, view, and, and then, then I'll let say, me it. say it from my point of view. I'll tell you what I think happens, and he'll tell you what really yeah. happens. Um, Elton John's my fucking favourite Couldn't go and watch him in Liverpool Paddy and Laura got to go and watch So I'm speaking with Dave Portnoy And he goes I'm speaking about Elton John He goes, oh he's on in Chicago Are you sniffing your armpit that. there? No, get on the stars of that Is that all there? That's Paddy Pitstein in action oh Serious, look at the size of that You need Sorry Mitchell to- Sorry to... That's all right, lad, but that's... See, it. look, that side's not even that bad, or You it? need Botox in your armpits, lad. I can't, though, because I'm fighting for just cutting weight. Oh, shit, sorry, yeah. I wish I could get that, because uh, uh, the pitties are just paddy yeah, pits, then. It'll come out of your toes still. That's what I mean. It comes out of somewhere else, and I can't be honest with it coming out of my fod and having a wet, f- fod, wet hair. Wet fringe like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like my hair all plastered back like that. You know what I mean? Like, oh. oh. Does it smell? No. No. I never even put, I never had bow spray in the gym, so I never had any bow spray on, but it doesn't even smell, do you know what I mean? Definitely going for a run later now, no point in not doing it, I need a <laughs> shower anyway. But yeah, carry on, Mo. So, Dave Portnoy, Portnoy goes, yeah, you're coming to do um, a, a appearance, I'll box you off for a box in Chicago to watch Elton John, I'm like that buzzing. All of Paddy's people who run his YouTube and his fucking, and the podcast was there as well, These guys, this guy called Mo, so... In my best life, we've all got done up. A stretch limo comes and picks us up, and we're like, Fuck, and now we've made it here, lad. Get there. <laughs> Unlimited ale, unlimited food, just everything. And like, me, Dave Portnoy's girlfriend, and who was it? And Laura, Paddy's fiance, was just like straight in the fridge on the ale, on the ale, on the ale. And then like my favourite songs were on and then that was it I was like whatever I'm f- I'm just going for it now and then I remember leaving and it was like a 15 minute walk to the limo it? and I, I, I no co- it was longer oh was it That's what I mean. I'll get to it <laughs> listen I couldn't even walk I couldn't I had like tunnel of doom blacked out I just remember like falling like that and I remember going dun 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 fuck the Tories and then this American was behind me going what's a Tory and it was so funny and then the next thing I remember, I've woke up in the hotel room and I'm like, right, my watch is on, passport's there, phone's there. And then I'm like, oh my, oh my God, I've spewed and knocked it all round the, the the bed. And then I've gone downstairs for breakfast and Graham's like, are you okay? I was going, was I rude to Ellis? Have I said something? Have I done something wrong? You go, no, 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 you wasn't rude, but are you okay? He's going, yeah, why he's, he's oh, fucking showing me videos. Th- this is this is the story. This is the story. <laughs> so, yeah, we've, uh, as you say, it was all right at the start. Went to Elton John in a box in Soldier Field. It was sound. It was unreal, really. Yeah, it was great. And then Molly started to be a little bit white girl wasted towards the end. Classic, And then you, like, put your arm around Laura and you just fell backwards on the stairs and she had a carpet burn for about four weeks. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> But yeah, we ended up coming out of there. And I'll never forget it because I come out of there <laughs> with three cans of pep. Dr. Pepper it was. I come out with three cans of Dr. Pepper. Like, yeah, put these in the fridge and we get back to the room. So, walking back and it wasn't 15 minutes. Oh, look at that pity. Oh my God, I am a mess. Wow. But um, it took about half an hour walking all sorts. You had to go certain ways to walk over certain bridges and get to where the, the limousine was. I'm like this. Got in the limousine. Getting walked like that. I was like getting dragged to really way, and I got in the limousine, and then like, Mo- Graham. Had, the funniest thing was, yeah, you were like that walking at first. Graham had to put his arm around you, cart you back. My hands had got freezing carrying these Dr Peppers back. So then we got in the, uh, then they got a bit not warm, but they weren't cold. We got in the limo. I lashed them in the ice, and then was sitting there, and I'm I'm looking at you, <laughs> like. Like she's he, gonna go with I'm it. just like <laughs> thinking she she you went white Did I? and I'm just like she's gonna spew she's gonna spew and Mo's sitting next to you and you go and you go and Mo grabs a cup <laughs> no. and puts a cup in front of you 
and you I got, spew in the cup and then it, the cup now the cup overflows you're spewing all over Mo's hand so Mo then puts that cup down picks another cup up puts the cup there and then you don't have to about three cups <laughs> and then it just was one of them they just got leaned over to the ice bucket yeah and I she think spewed I was... up she spewed up all over two of me cans of Dr Pepper <laughs> so obviously that like luckily enough I was sitting by the window the smell, I remember Laura going, yeah, the smell, yeah. Because Laura, <laughs> Laura, Laura, like, she as can't. I say, it was a stretch limo. So Laura and Edith were sitting by the, like, with the back of the driver. Me and Graham was sitting the opposite end. And Ellis. I and, bet Ellis was looking at yeah, me like, Ellis was oh smiling my God. you to death. She weren't happy. Like, you're getting me. And then, like, Dylan, Mo, you, and someone else was sitting there. And as I say, everyone was like, bleh, bleh, nearly broken because of the smell. So I was just like, yeah, boom, spark the joint. <laughs> Get that I got it smelling nice and fragrant in there instead of smelling like absolute dust. It, it wasn't even like it was just sick though, Mo, because you've been drinking for about six hours. It smelt like raw vodka and sick mixed together. Because I don't like, drink vodka, lads. That's what it is. Oh, it was messy. Do you know, know? and in America, right, they don't have Sprite. These are, if you, I was asking for vodka lemonade and they was giving me like, fuck, what's their lemonade? Like cloudy Yeah, it's fucking. not, don't, don't you even start over there, please. Pipe down. Please, what lemon, is it that they give lemonade, us? Lemonade, it, over there, it's like, it's like Kool-Aid, isn't it? If you ask for lemonade. It's like Kool-Aid. But it was like actual fucking lemon water. If we ask for lemonade, water. we want Sprite. You yeah. know what I mean? Seven up. Like, who wants cloudy lemonade with a vodi? I just wanted pink gin and lemon when there was just, there just wasn't, lads. I, I just but anyway, knew. we pulled up. As we pulled up at the hotel, we jumped out. I jumped oh out. Oh my right God, away, flashbacks. Obviously. That's coming back to me. <laughs> I jumped out and went to, uh, I picked one can of Dr. Pepper up because <laughs> obviously the other two had been vomited on. I put it on the side. Molly gets out of the limo, bounces into the gate and knocks it on the floor. It just got a big dent in. I was just laughing. Oh, it was funny because I brought three, ended up with none. And then the driver, me and Graham went straight over to the driver and was like, she's like, obviously, as you can tell, she's been sick in the back. As you can smell. Yeah. As you can smell, as, as you can hear. You know what I mean? She's been sick in the back. So what can we, can we sort it out now? Because obviously you get charged. Was it like $500 fee. or $250? No, I don't even know what it was because we tried to pay him, me and Graham, me and Graham pulled money out and went, we'll pay you now. And he went, oh no, man, don't worry about it. I was like, what do you mean, don't worry about it? He was like, oh yeah, whoever ordered the, ordered the limo, they'll get it. And we were like, <laughs> I was like, oh, Dave Port, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Dave's sorry. getting it with a bill. We were like, ah. Oh. But like, do you know then, what? I remember I was going, do you know when you're being sick, but there's nothing left it. Yeah, I so must have had that. Uh, uh, and and I your throat starts burning. Yeah, and, and I remember, the, like, it came back to me then when you're speaking, like, fans were coming over and I was holding my hair. Yeah. And I was going, Ellis, uh, yeah. don't let them see me. Uh, like this. And uh. Ellis was few. Oh my Ellis was God, I got a fucking dog's life the next Ellis day. Ellis was few. Yeah, I, I'd be fuming on Laura though if she was sick all over the room. But do you know what the thing is, lads? It's like, I don't go out anymore, right? I don't, but the thing is, like, when I... I was only drinking somewhere where we're safe, but yeah. then I just take it to the fucking extreme, yeah, you, don't I? You're sick, aren't you? You're round the bend. <sighs> the yeah. next morning, I went and done the podcast with Dave. I was like, I can't do it. And it was it was hilarious. You were going to come with us, weren't you? And you just had to stay in bed. And well, I Graham just put his hands on me and went, yeah. go to bed, make sure Ellis is okay. Yeah. We, uh, what did I do? I spoke to Dave and he was like, yeah, I, I heard. <laughs> and I was just giggling. <laughs> He loves me though. He loves me for being a mess. Do you know what I mean? Because in camp, like I won't even have a f-ing calorie if I'm not allowed it. Do you know what I mean? Like I am proper to the, to the f-ing tea. But out of camp, oh my Jesus Christ! If I go and watch the blues or like I'm on them away days or I'm in Pogues, the Ar- or Fitzgerald's Irish bars, like the Guinness is coming and the pink gin's on its way. <laughs> That's it. The Guinness is already on the table, and then they they know. After the bar six, and I've got get I've got over. glasses in the pubs that have my name on. I've got a stein that's in Castle Street Townhouse, like a metal stein. So just go in and have me Moretti like that. Yes. <laughs> See, that's where I go to food places, and, and they've they just got... know what I'm ordering. <laughs> You know what I mean? They just know what the order is because I'm there that often when There's I'm not There's your dying. three starters, your two main, and every dessert on the menu, Patrick. <laughs> you've got to you've got to live your life, mate. 